This is Life on a Ranch. We get to see some of the most amazing things every single day. The air in our office is about as fresh as it gets. And everything goes exactly how we plan. Yeah, I wish that's how it really was. It seems like around this place, if something can break, we find the best way to make it happen. There's always something that needs to be worked on and it takes an army to keep all the equipment running around here. In the last couple of months, we've succeeded in breaking the hay mixer, we've replaced two head gaskets in two different trucks, we've blown one transmission, changed out an entire motor, fried a winch pulling camps out on the desert, lost the starter on two different trucks, blew more tires than I could count, cracked the backo frame, broke the grain auger, broke the scraper blade, been stuck in the mud more times than I can count, we've lost the shutoff solenoid on the other backhoe, and kept it running for a week with a piece of wire, and about a million other things. It's been a busy couple of months around here. We have a full-time mechanic that stays busy all the time, just trying to keep everything running and in one piece. I gotta get you on camera, Mark. You're the guy that makes it all happen. If it wasn't for you, none of this would be running. <laughs> Most of the time all you see are the good things that go on around here because I'm too busy working instead of filming. But this is the side of farming that you don't normally see. All the breakdowns, the fixing, the dealing with problems as they come up and making the best out of every day no matter what happens. So while the ground is still frozen this morning we tried to come out here and get some hay with the old yellow truck out of the shed there and I only made it halfway down the road and this tire started going so she's not no good so we got to get this thing off take her to the shop here and tear it apart put a new tire on it bring her back put it back on and get this truck loaded and out of here before this mud starts to get muddy or uh we're gonna be stuck so it's another day at the office it's gonna be a good day Got the old lug nuts off. We're just gonna use the old vaco. Lift up this truck. Since we uh, don't want to use a jack, we'll just lift it up with a chain. Get this tire the rest of the way off. Bring her over to the shop. Get her tore down. Put a new one on it. Bring it back. Get her put back on. Load some hay on the old banana truck, and we'll be in business. Hopefully, we can do all of that before this mud starts to thaw out. Got this tire back to the shop. Got the slippery juice ready to pull this tire apart and get her changed out. But uh, on the day that we break tires, the compressor also decides to not want to work. We blew a pulley on that, so now Mark's getting a pulley so we can get the compressor running so I can fill this tire up so until then we have to use the little portable guy, get some air in this tire after we get her put back together. If one thing breaks, everything breaks. That's how it goes around here. We change all our own semi tires around here. After a couple hundred, a guy could get to be pretty fast at it, especially when you have as many flat tires as we do. With the old tire off and a new tire on, 
All he had to do now was put some air in it and get it back to the truck before the ground thawed out too much. Got the tire on. Now we're just gonna go run her back, throw her on the truck, we'll get some hay, get loaded, and get on to the rest of the day. Nice new tire on the rim. Uh, uh, kind of slippery. This one's round on all the sides. See, that's what we like in a tire. We don't like when they're flat on the one side, especially on the bottom side. That's no good. We like when they're round all the way around. They roll a lot easier when they're that way. One minute later. And now I'm stuck. Yep, no good. I'm stuck. I'm a little bit stuck. The ground being so soft and muddy, I had to have a little push to get going again. Thank goodness for backhoes on muddy days like this. But just a little farther down the road, we got something stuck that was a little too big for the backhoe to push out. So right now, Shane just called and said he's overfeeding the bucks and he's stuck because there's lots of mud snowed last night made the ground real soft on top of everything else. So we're gonna go jump in this big green tractor. Gonna go hook a chain onto him, yank him out, and get him back going so we can keep feeding. Around here, things don't always go as we plan, and by don't always, I mean almost never go as we plan. But that is what this lifestyle is all about. No matter what happens during the day, no matter what goes wrong, no matter how many times you have to change your plans, what matters is that we love doing what we do, and we make the best out of whatever comes our way. <laughs>